Hey everybody, you know Petra Sully here. I wanted to clear up some fog about a very um, controversial, controversial topic today. Clear up some fog and confusion um, about what are demons really, and why do people get messed up or out of balance when they evoke or work with demons oftentimes. So we'll start with what are demons. So demons are spirits that are free of the idea that they need to worship or be subservient to an outside god. This means that they do not recognize any being outside of themselves as a force worthy of worship or absolute obedience. I mean, they may honor uh, other forces and respect other forces, but they do not give all of themselves away to other beings of any kind. Demon is a <coughs> title often given to any deity or spirit that is not part of the Christianity cult, or any spirit that does not recognize God of the Bible as the supreme authority over them. So, demons can be ugly or beautiful, they can be good or evil, or somewhere in between. Demons are individuals the same as a human is an individual. Uh, one can't really say that the, all demons are good or all demons are, are bad. <coughs> too much of an oversimplification. It's too black and white. It's black and white thinking, in my opinion. So, a demon can be good or bad. It can be beautiful, it can be ugly, uh, just like an angel can, can be good or bad, you know. Uh, an angel isn't necessarily good, you know, just like a human. I mean, these titles we give spirits are just kind of overgeneralizing, and we give them attributes and qualities, and we, we just assume that they're, they, they are these specific set of attributes or qualities. And this is actually um, a misconception, in my opinion. <coughs> Most so-called demons that I have encountered, whether they are scary looking or beautiful, have been very helpful for me personally in uh, helping me to think in unconventional ways and to see reality for what it really is. And I think a lot of people will find that this is the case for them as well, if they approach them correctly. Many demons are not evil in any sense of the word, in my opinion. They simply do not tolerate being disrespected. The mainstream idea of what a demon is, uh, is in itself very disrespectful to them. I mean, think about it. We think of them as, like, um, I don't know, we just don't have a good view of them uh, in the mainstream idea that they're evil, they're fallen, that they're going to hell for eternity and all this bullshit. And that's what it is, just bullshit. Um, <coughs> so I wouldn't judge a demon any more than I would judge another human for being an independent thinker uh, or for being a leader, not a willing slave to conventions. So, uh, why do people get messed up and out of balance when they evoke a demon or when they work with demons? Like I said earlier, it's really um, because of how they approach them that this happens. And I think the number one reason people fuck themselves up, in my opinion, when they evoke a demon is that they think they need to be bossy with them, bind them and control them and manipulate them and just like treat them like garbage, you know, treat them like slaves. It's a big mistake, you know. Um, it just pisses them off. Like if you piss a person off, uh, and a demon is a person, remember that, if you piss them off, they're just gonna, uh, it's just gonna backfire on you, they're gonna hurt you. You know, they're not stupid. So, you can't control them with God names. You have to be respectful to them, like you would a person. Um, use some common sense, you know. So, you can give them gifts, you can build a relationship with them, you can offer them incense, you can offer them meat if it's the kind of spirit that likes that kind of thing. Um, I don't mean like animal sacrifice, I mean you could offer like uh, a steak or something to a demon that's that's kind of car carnivorous, I can't say the word, but um, yeah, stuff like this. Um, so don't try to dominate them and be respectful, they will help you. Um, most likely they will help you if they like you and it usually turns out what, uh, being a positive influence in your life. In my opinion, like any demon that I've ever worked with, um, pretty much for the most part has benefited me and helped me in a lot of ways. <coughs> 
So, like this video, uh, subscribe to my channel, um, find me on my Facebook page, Enoch Sigil Creator and Card Reader. Message me if you have any questions about this video. Um, I do highly recommend working with demons if you are interested in um, breaking free of the mind matrix that we live in. They're very helpful for this. And, you know, they do a lot of good that people don't realize. They help people, like me, um, become better people. And I recommend that if you approach them, definitely be respectful and offer them incense and have common sense, you know. <coughs> Excuse me. So, that's my spiel on what are demons really. Uh, like I said, message me if you have any questions. Thank you.